Welcome again to Joe Stunner Boxing. So Keyshawn Davies stops um, Jose Pedraza in the sixth round, stops him on his feet, um, moves to 10 wins with seven KOs, no draws, no defeats. Pedraza slips to 21 at uh, 29 uh, wins with 14 KOs and um, six defeats. I think that's only the second stoppage of his career. But this was impressive from Davis. Um, he started very slowly. In fact, you could probably give Pedraza the first round if you were feeling generous. I mean, oh, I thought Pedraza, Pedraza was moving forward, very, a tough old veteran. Um, and Davis was really having a look at him. Davis with Bomac, Brian McIntyre in the corner, exuded confidence. Was really, in the first round, was really just taking a look. Second round, I thought Davis won, uh, but not by a great deal. But it was in the third round that he really started to go to work and he started to let his hands go and stand his ground. And suddenly Pedraza, <clears throat> Pedraza was sort of having a bit of difficulty here. He was in the sense that Davis was controlling the range. And when there was a gap between them, clearly Davis was the one who was winning all day. Whereas when Pedraza moved forward, Davis had a, habit of sort of stand his ground and Pedraza would smother his work or Davis would take a sort of half step in and Pedraza would, would be too close to really get anything done. He was firing some sort of hooks over the top, trying to sort of um, bring some right hands, up, like, like I say, over the, uh, over the, the left hand uh, of Davis, but it wasn't working. Um, Davis was quite adept at sort of slipping and sliding when they were up close and Pedraza wasn't throwing nearly enough body punches. Um, Davis actually, Davis did fire, a, early on he fired a couple of jabs to the body, which I thought was really good. But then he, I think he was having so much success to the head, he's kind of began to neglect the body, he didn't need the body. Um, because from the third round onwards, I mean, the third round he beat Pedraza up basically. And then it was more of the same afterwards. And Davis was fighting at his own pace, didn't really need to, he knew he had 10 rounds to get his work done. He'd started relatively early. Well, actually, third round, he really started going to work. So he had another 20 minutes to get his work done, 21 minutes maybe. And he just gradually ground down Pedraza. And Pedraza ended up with a nick over, I think it was his right eye. Um, not not a, not a serious cut. Uh, it didn't look serious anyway. From And I, I watched this, by the way, with, with Spanish... Um, commentary so I don't really I couldn't really follow what was going on I was I was having to judge it just by looking at it so I don't know whether the cut was considerable it didn't look bad um and then in the sixth round Davis basically just closed the show um he couldn't miss he really couldn't miss or um, the headshots began to sort of ping Pedraza's head all over the place and very gradually uh, well it was you know death by a thousand cuts but in the sixth round I think Davis thought, okay, I'll put him out of his misery now, and he did. Um, but like I say, Pedraza, very, very tough. Um, wasn't on the floor at all. Um, was taking his lumps like a, like you expect a sort of old pro to do. Uh, but the referee stepped in when Pedraza was on the ropes. It wasn't one punch that provoked the referee's intervention. It was, um, it was just the whole barrage, the whole sort of onslaught. Um, and Pedraza's really got to ask himself, does he want to continue now? Because that's his third defeat in four four fights and the first stoppage in four fights. And the other one was a draw. He drew 10 rounds with Richard Comey. He lost to um, Jose Ramirez. That was a 12-round decision. And he was he lost he lost that fight, but the scorecards were like 116, 112, so 8-4. He made it. He, he made Ramirez win, you know, earn his win. Then in the, the fight... Prior to the Davis one, Arnold Barbosa Jr. outpointed him. Again, he was competitive, Pedroza, but in this, he just was not at the races. He was not at the races. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I think his career's come to an end unless he wants to just pick up paychecks as a gatekeeper. But Davis, um, looking very, very confident, very good, um, and firing, firing lots of punches. I would say most of them were simply because the guy was there to be hit. It would be interesting to see if someone were a bit cuter with a bit more sort of nous, a bit more defensive savvy um, and a few more offensive 
skills, a bit more slickness. It would be interesting to see how Davis uh, reacted. Of course, the obvious opponent is Andy Cruz. And I mean, I think Cruz beats Davis again. He beat him three or, three or four times in the amateurs. I absolutely think <clears throat> Cruz, Cruz may well be able to beat Davis now in the pros, even over 10. I, I, I see no reason why he couldn't. But that's not to say Davis is bad. Davis is good. Davis can pick up a belt or two. But nah, I, I honestly think Cruz has got his number. And uh, But yeah, this was for three of those, you know, in, I don't know, USBA lightweight belts, some sort of WBO intercontinental thing. Davis is only 10 wins now, but he'll be ranked and he'll be looking for title shots very, very soon. So what did you think of this fight? If you, if you saw it, how far do you think Davis can go? Do you think he needs to um, act now, you know, rather than sooner rather than later? Um, I mean, he is 24, so he's got plenty of time in his hands. Whereas someone like Andy Cruz is old. I think, I think Cruz is about 28. But I don't see I don't see Davis beating Cruz. But you never know. You never know, do you? Stranger things have happened. Anyway, comments below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Please hit the like button as well. And I'll catch you later. And bye for now.